Hi everyone! Hello! Um, we have just got back uh, from our Walt Disney World trip. We were Ooh. in Florida for two weeks. We literally just got back today yeah. and we thought we would bang out a quick haul video so we can actually start packing everything away. Um, so yeah, we've got so much to run through. I just want to point out that we have literally been waiting for this trip for years. Um, it was delayed by like two years because of Covid. We were already waiting for it like a prior two years. Um, for COVID, so we have saved up for a long time for yeah. this. Uh, we aren't going to say the prices because there is so much, this is going to be really disjointed. We're going to get through as fast as we can, the video isn't too long. We aren't going to say prices, but if you do need prices for anything, then please just drop us a message. Mm -hmm. Um, or a comment and we'll get back to you and let you know how much everything was yeah um, and as well just to mention because the stock levels in Disney World are really hit or miss at the moment we were there from the 2nd of February to the 16th of February um, some of the stuff we got literally came in and out of stock while we were there um, but again if there's anything you want to know exactly where it's from just drop us a comment and we'll try and do our best Cool, so, so we'll right. get into it. We'll start with clothes because there's a lot of them and they're getting in the way, so let's go for it. Um, the first one that we both brought is the Figment tie-dye shirt. Chelsea's wearing hers now. Um, that's from the Epcot Creation shop. That was cool. Um, I got, so just to let you know as well, sorry, um, most of the stuff in this whole video is Walt Disney World merchandise. However, there will be other things from Universal, from the outlets, um, from like Hot Topic, Box Lunch, shops like that. So I got this Adidas t-shirt. This was from the Adidas outlets um, and just a basic black and white t-shirt. Uh, and I got another basic Adidas shirt. There was this one and that was from the outlets as well. I got this Mickey Florida shirt. This was from Uniqlo at Disney Springs. I got oh, this shirt from Walmart. I love these like campy little um, old school traditional American shirts. So and then I actually cool. got a really similar one. This is from Forever 21. Um, again, at one of the outlets. Absolutely love that. I thought it was really cool. Um, I picked up a Stitch Spirit jersey. Now these are still, these are quite in well stocked. Um, we saw which them is, in quite a lot of places. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, I got this just basic Florida t-shirt. This is from Walmart. I have to say this is like $5. It was such a bargain. So yeah. Uh, this is a Halloween shirt which is from the outlets. So it's just got Happy Halloween on the front and then Trick or Treat in the back. Which again, because it's in the outlets, it was super cheap and just a Halloween shirt. This was a jumper I got from a shop called Sun. Again, another one from the outlets. Um, and it's just got a walrus on it and it's just a really big oversized cozy jumper. The one I'm wearing is from the exact same shop. That's they were two, but I would get one half price. So I got this the half price one yep. that I got. So we got one each. Um, I got this from Hot Topic and this is a her Universe Return of the Jedi Star Wars shirt. It's like a green tie-dye, and it's just got that on the back. And I also got this from Hot Topic. It is an Eagle Fang t-shirt. Um, if you don't know, this is from the TV show on Netflix called Cobra Kai. I absolutely love Cobra Kai, and I'm team Eagle Fang, so. Um, and again, the t-shirts from Hot Topic, we got one each, and it was like, buy one, get one half price. Yeah. Um, and Hot Topic is at the Florida Mall, if you want to visit there. Um, I got an absolute bargain on this one. This is from the Adidas outlet. This is the Boba Fett tracksuit jacket that they released just before the book of Boba Fett was released. This was half price, so I've got to say, sorry. This was $40 down from $80. Um, but yeah, that's wicked. Boba Fett tracksuit jacket. I just got this basic Stitch t shirt. Um, this was from Walmart, and it does have. On the back Walmart well. have sick t-shirts, i got to say, yeah, honestly. if you want to save a bit of money but still get some cool Disney merch, definitely visit a Walmart. This one's from there. Walmart, so it's just got the four on the front and then on the back it's just got their butt sticking through. I thought that was really cool. Another Walmart t-shirt, again, Cobra Kai. I'm a such a big Cobra Kai fan, so I had to pick this up when I saw it. Um, yeah, just a tie-dye shirt, again, from Walmart. Uh, this is a Walmart shirt as well. Uh, again, it was so corny that I actually thought it was really cool. Um, yeah, just a Florida shirt with Mickey Mouse. Yeah, honestly, their t-shirts are so cheap. This is also from Walmart. <laughs> um, just a Mandalorian one with Grogu on there. 
Um, yeah, so I got that one as Look well. Look at my pile, I think I'm on Disney World shirts I now. I think so. that might be it for Walmart. <laughs> um, this, I got this one from Disney World. The, I've got to say as well, these t-shirts are really weirdly fitting. I usually get XL because I like things oversized. I had to get a 2XL in this one because the XL was a really boxy fit. Um, so just a word of warning, maybe try it before you buy. But yeah, there's that one. I got this 50th anniversary grey jumper or sweater, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, this is from Walt Disney World. Um, Walt Disney World of Disney, I think we found this, but it was an Emporium and a few other shops. So. But only on the last day we were on our holiday. Yeah. So again, the 50th merch is really hit very, and miss. Very, yeah, very uh, The ones that aren't hit and miss are the Vault Collection. So I got this tea. It is dirty to walk on the first day. And the blue bags that they give you at the park, they stain if it gets too hot, the blue rubs off. Mm. Um, but this is just a Vault t shirt. They had loads. I think this is just part of their core collection. So that was really cool. And another 50th item that I actually got, we both got this actually. Yeah. Um, I got mine really oversized. Um, it's this 50th anniversary Mickey t shirt. They've been out of stock for weeks. We found a 4XL, and I was just like, well, it's the only one. I have to have it. And the cast members in the shop even said to us, wow, they have, we haven't seen those in so long. So I thought, you know, bugger it, I'll buy it as a like a nighty as a, like a bed t-shirt and then literally on our last day we they saw loads of them. them i got an xl which is quite lucky because they did only have three to four xl after that but literally on our last day that we were leaving we found one in emporium in a smaller yeah. medium so, so i wish i had it in my size to wear it out but oh well i've got it as a bed shirt you can wear instead. mine as well it'd be a bit <laughs> oversized but not as yeah. much i also got this gray hoodie this was from the outlet um again it's like what the life design so from the character warehouse, Disney character warehouse at the Vineland outlets. Um, really good. They have some hidden gems in there. Again, if you're going to Florida anytime soon and you don't know about the character warehouse, it's basically just a shop where any out of season merch ends up and they discount it. So you can usually grab a good bargain in there. Yeah. Um, I got this from the Canada Pavilion, the Epcot World Showcase. Obviously I'm not Canadian, but I just love the design. We saw someone wearing this shirt and we looked at each other and I was like, I have to get that shirt. Yeah. So that's really cool. Um, I got this food and wine spirit jersey. This was also in the Character Warehouse outlet. Um, so it's just got a little pocket print there. And then it has got sweet as pie written on the back with mini. So that's super cute. Uh, this is another shirt we both got. Um, and it's just a ring of tea. Again, looking at it online, I think this came out when the 50th first started, but it's been out of stock since October. So um, this came back in stock when we were there, so we got one each. Yeah, um, yeah lovely. Um, I also got, in Disney Springs, there is a very large Coke store, and I absolutely love Coca Cola, it's like my favourite drink. And they had a Walt Disney World collab t shirt, so I picked one of those up. And they did do these in other colours as well. And hoodies. Yeah. Um, I grabbed just this tee. Everyone was wearing this shirt, but it's so sick. It's just got Walt Disney World on the front with all some park icons. And then on the back, it's just got the dates that the attractions opened, starting from It's a Small World all the way up to Rise of the Resistance. Uh, Cinderella Castle, sorry, it starts off and then Rise of the Resistance, but I thought that was really cool. I got this 50th Spirit Jersey. Um, these are really well stocked at the moment, so if you are going anytime soon and you want one of these, you'll probably be in luck. Um, again, World of Disney at Disney Springs, Emporium uh, is kind of your best bet if you're looking for a spirit jersey. Um, I got this from the Character Warehouse. Um, I thought this was just really cool. It is a food and wine shirt from Epcot. It's like a khaki green. It's got food and wine on the front, like a pocket embroidered. And on the back, it's got this massive print of Mickey and Minnie's apple orchid. Um, but yeah, it was just really cool. And I got this um, jumper that's almost like a tie-dye print. And it's got Walt Disney World and Mickey, which is actually embroidered across the front here. And it is a tracksuit. So yeah. It's also got the matching bottoms as well. Yeah, so I'm um, And that has... Uh-oh. Oh, camera. There we go. And that has Mickey embroidered in the bottom as well. I think it's just Walt Disney World somewhere on the road. Yeah. And again, these are very difficult to find in a good size. They own, they have them everywhere, but only in really, really large sizes. Yeah, so that is super cool. Um, I've also got this jumper. Um, just basic jumper, quite a thin one, so nice and lightweight. 
uh, just says Walt Disney World with Mickey on the front. Uh, I think my last clothes purchase, well, wearable clothes, I did get the uh, Magic Kingdom baseball jacket. So that's, it's got the Disney World D on the arm, and then on the back, it's got this massive embroider patch with uh, Mickey, Pluto, Donald, two of the three caballeros. I know it's just one of the three caballeros, or two, I technically include Donald, sorry, I'm rambling. Um, and then it has a cast on the bottom, so that's really cool. And my sort of jacket purchase of this trip was this fleece. Um, I knew I wanted this. I saw it in vi whole videos quite a while back. It's got an embroidered Disney World logo here and it's just sort of fluffy all over. It was from about a year ago, but I think because they've had really cold weather in Florida recently, they brought the old stock out. Yeah. Because it only seems to be huge sizes. We went to Caribbean Beach and there was one, so the whole two weeks we were there, yeah, we only found one size small, like everything else yeah. was extra large above. So I was really lucky that I managed yeah. to get this, I'm really pleased. Um, while we're both here, if we do the blanket, if you want to lean over and yeah. watch it. <laughs> <laughs> now blankets are Chelsea's kryptonite, so. Yeah, I love a good blanket. I knew that I was going to buy a blanket on this trip. I just didn't know which one. And we came across this in the Italy pavilion in Epcot and it was brand new out. The cast member said it was selling like hot cakes and they had even been buying them themselves. So um, I managed to get the last one that was available that day. Um, so yeah, Epcot Pavilion. So, uh, sorry, Epcot Italy Pavilion. So it just says it. visit Italy and it's done in the Riviera Resort style and we're a sucker for the yep. art style of the Riviera Resort. So um, that was a really cool purchase. And we also got towels on this trip. Um, I got the Typhoon Lagoon towel. Just trying to open it up there. It's got a stitch on a surfboard with Disney's Typhoon Lagoon written at the bottom there. And then I got the Blizzard Beach towel. Now originally I brought a towel for the Enchanted Tiki Room um, and then as we were leaving the gift shop, this one was on a rack, there was only two of them and we thought, well, we've got Typhoon Lagoon. It'd be nice to have the Blizzard other Beach. one, yeah. Um, Although we didn't visit Blizzard Beach this trip. Because it was closed. But Typhoon Lagoon was closed really intermittently as well because of the weather. So yeah. we were quite lucky to go when we did and it was open. Right, okay. Um, oh, one last bit of clothing, sorry. Yeah, me too. I got these socks. Um, there are actually seven pairs in the collection. I just don't have all seven here at the moment because it is of the seven dwarves. These were from Box Lunch and it just came as a set of seven of each character. Uh, I got the Spirit Jersey bucket hat for the park map, for part of the vault collection. Again, this came out when we were out there um, and we went out to Main Street Cinema the Main Street Theatre the day they were released and by the afternoon they were gone. So. And I also got this cap, um, which I bought quite early on so I could wear it throughout the trip. Um, again, in most of the shops in what Disney World this is in and it just has Disney Parks written on the back then. But yeah, pretty cute. Wicked, okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. Let's do these yeah. next. These are a big ticket item. Um, when we were there, oh, you can see already, when we were there, these got restocked. Uh, so we raced to Epcot from Islands of Adventure and we mobile ordered our Figment popcorn buckets. So we mobile ordered these, so there was no queue. We literally walked in, booked a time, 30 seconds in and out, got the buckets with the popcorn, which is Figment coloured. It was rainbow when it first came out, but this is Figment coloured popcorn. So that is really cool. But they did sell out again, unfortunately, so. And then in the theme of Festival of the Arts, we also got this Festival of the Arts mug. Again, this only just got released whilst we were there. Um, but ironically, it was already on Shop Disney UK. They yeah. kind of did it the wrong way around, but hey-ho. Okay, okay. um, we also got the puzzle. Festival of the Arts puzzle. The, the box is a bit crushed in the suitcase. <laughs> um, but we thought this, we like a challenging puzzle. This is all like very the same colour with a couple of figment heads, so this will be a challenge. You can actually colour this one in as well, which is quite cool, but we'll probably leave it blank. Um, we also did a press penny collection while we were there. Um, we got the 50th anniversary penny wallet, which was really hard to find. Again, if you are going soon, I'll be impressed if you manage to find one of these, because after we got it, we never saw it again. Yeah. Um, it's literally just princess ones that are everywhere. Um, but yeah, we've got loads of pressed pennies. We've literally filled the whole thing and more. We've had to double up pennies in some of the slots. Um, but it's quite a fun challenge actually, trying to find all the 50th ones. Um, we've got loads of different ones. You're never going to be able to see them, but we have got loads of the 50th ones in there as well. 
so that was really fun to do. Um, we picked this, we collect vinyl records, so we were blown away when we saw this. This was in the gift shop after Mr. Still Her Magic, and this is just that It's a Small World vinyl, it just has the It's a Small World song, and then a ultimate mega mix on the B-side, uh, which is quite cool. So. Um, we got these little figures, I'm just actually trying to open the box at the mm. moment, but they are little mystery figures, again for the 50th anniversary. These, every time they restock, sell out the same day. They literally fly out and it's probably because they're such good value because they're only $9.99. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, they are only really small little, little figures but they're just so popular. And they're mystery boxes. So we got the Mad Hatter. We got four in total. So do your two. Uh, Mad Hatter and Tink is what I got, which I wasn't really pleased with. Um, and I literally pulled the two that we were after. So I was after one in yeah. particular, and Chelsea was after one in particular. So on my first one, I pulled my one, which is Figment. Yeah. So that was wicked. And then when we saw them restocked we brought a box each again nothing Chelsea has got tink and i got her one which is stitch yeah so we got the two that we wanted most we would have liked winnie the pooh or mickey but we are over the moon with these two if so. anybody's trading these figures let us know because if you want a mad hat or a tink bell we're you guys yeah literally <laughs> <laughs> um and again, sticking on the 50th theme at the moment, we've got some of the medallions. These are dotted around the whole resort. They're in the parks, they're in different hotels. Um, so again, it's a nice little challenge trying to find the ones that you want. We've got lots of different characters. We've got Mickey, we've got Stitch. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got Orange Bird. Orange Bird, Sigmund, Dante. Donald. Um, Dante, yeah, that's it. So. Um, again, I'm pretty sure there are 50 of these that yeah. you can get. Because even the statues that have two characters on had their own coin. Yeah, so we only got six, um, but they were $5 each, so they're not cheap. Yeah. Um, but even so, it's a nice little memento for us to have. Yeah. Um, Festival of the Arts. Uh, there was a little challenge that you could do where you had to stick stickers on like a paint palette to say where you saw figment in artwork around the park. Now, we cheated, we didn't do the challenge. Yeah. But literally, because when we went to buy it, the cast member was just like, oh, here you go, just have the prize now. She don't just stamped it. it, so she didn't even give us a chance to do it. Yeah. But to be honest, even when we went around, we couldn't find any figments anyway. We Not that we were looking for it, but we didn't come across any yeah. of them anyway. So. so it's just a little paint your own figure and it's Daisy. They did have other characters there, as you can see, but Daisy was the only one that was available at the time. So we just went for her. Yeah. Um, right, I think we should just dive into food because we've got a lot of food <laughs> to get through. Um, we've got a few of the Rice Krispie treats because they are like the classic Disney World treat so we wanted to bring a few of these back to friends um we've got some chocolate peanuts um some other fizzy sweets again all of these are from disney world all from the park unless i say otherwise chocolate coins um i don't have any treats myself so just yeah this. rice crispy cinnamon swirls um lots and lots of popcorn uh, they'll, go in our figment pop <laughs> they'll go in our figment popcorn buckets oh, today. Yeah. Oh, another figment popcorn. Um, or we've got the Werther's original popcorn. This was from Caramel Couche at the Ger Germany Pavilion in Epcot. Really, really good. You can buy it fresh. So this is obviously a packaged pack to last longer, but you can buy it fresh there as well. Um, little sort of cheese bites with Chip and Dale on more goofy candy um a groovy rice crispy treat it's breaking the suitcase and i'm really sad about that um another white crisp rice crispy treat there's all sort of different ones um 50th popcorn i love the colors of this i haven't actually tried any of it yet but i really hope it tastes as good as it looks i use all of my strength to not eat popcorn while we're out <laughs> because we wanted stuff to bring home to enjoy um Ah, the Coke in Galaxy's Edge. Oh, yeah. Can I let you talk about that? We got a few bottles of these. They obviously, they do Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, and Dasani. Um, they're all shaped like thermal detonators. We literally just brought three bottles of regular Coke and drank them all because we love them. So, well, we love Coke, so. 
Yeah. We got the set of free hot cocoa, and these are all different flavours. We got a churro one. Uh, yeah, maple donut, chocolate fudge, and churro. I'm claiming the churro. One. Yeah. I can't <laughs> um, I also got this is another rice crispy treat. It's an egg. Well, sorry, it is a vein pod, but it looks like an egg. Uh, <laughs> If you're an Avatar fan, I'm really sorry that I've probably just offended you, but yeah, this is in Pandora in Animal Kingdom. Um, so that's a cool one. Um, we got these little marshmallows, really random, but we roasted some marshmallows whilst we were at the Riviera Resort. Yeah. And we had a little spare pack, so we thought we'd keep them and bring them back. Um, we did just get some American candy to bring home for ourselves and for friends. And these are from Walmart, yeah, not from Disney. Yeah, some just from Walmart. Um, we also got this box of taffy that was from Walmart. Um, I also got a box of taffy from Universal. It's all a bit squished from the suitcase. Yeah. <sighs> Gosh. Oh, another box of taffy. This is from Universal oh, in the Harry Potter area. Again, it's a bit squished from the suitcase. Yeah. Not ideal, but we can do. Um, a few chocolate bars. These are from Universal. These are really cool flavours. So this is Swamp Bar, Dino Bar, and then there's Waffle Bar. Oh, so they're all character bars, but they are different flavours, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, again, from Universal Studios, I got these Krabby Patty sweets. Again, just for ourselves and for some friends. Um, on my papers, I got this Blood Pot, again from the Harry, Harry Potter area. Fun fact, they're vegan. So yeah. these are a good vegan treat we for anyone. Um, again, just Combo. random, random snacks from the supermarket. Um, I think that's it for food. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Hiding More another candy pile of and chips ahoy. Oscar is like the biggest chips ahoy fan, and they don't do them in the UK anymore. So we got loads of these from the yeah. supermarket as well. Oh yeah. Um, okay, that really is it for food. Cool. So we'll crack on. Um, I think it's sort of a bit of a smorgasbord from here, so we're just going to yes. grab what we can find. This is my little dinosaur. We won him, at, and we won little Mickey well, here. Well, no, Chels won them both. She tried yeah. getting me to win it because I'm I'm meant to be the man that wins prizes on the day. But and note to self, just do it yourself. Just do it yourself, because she smashed it. She won two in one game. So <laughs> I begged her for the Mickey, which she so, so generously let me have. these are from the Dino Land games in Animal Kingdom. Um, you do have to pay per go. I $6. think it's like six dollars per ticket or something um but yeah it was just so much fun it's just like little carnival but things. in to put it in perspective we bought three tickets which is 18 dollars including tax and we got these Both two these. plushes yeah and which such decent if fun. you brought this that would be at least 12 dollars and look how cute it is yeah oh, so was it cementosaurus yeah i think so and then just a little Mickey and the Dinos Love shirt. It. But that was really cool. Um, next plush, I'll show a plush. I brought this one um, and I just got Mexican Donald from the uh, Mexico Pavilion in Epcot. Uh, he's actually out back doing meet and greets now in his poncho and a sombrero just around the corner from it. And we met him and I thought I have to get the plush to remember it because Donald's one of my favourites. So um, yeah, that's super cool. Um, we've got this dog collar for one of our dogs. It is actually a Christmas collar. Um, but I don't think you would know it was Christmas if it didn't have the little Santa and if you had it on. Um, but yeah, just a little nice collar there. Um, I think we've got this in the outlets actually. The outlets, yeah. yeah they've just got, a, they're starting to get the Christmas And they had loads there. of sizes, which is really mm -hmm. cool to see. A um, couple of little bits here that I got in the, this is actually the hotel that we stayed at. We stayed in one of the Universal Resorts, Endless Summer Dockside. Um, and that's just a little shot glass of the Endless Summer and just a little candle that they had for sale in the shop which is like all sort of surfing themed and we also got the souvenir cocktail glass from the pool bar this one actually says surf side because they were out of dockside ones when we got our cocktail um so it just said and the sun is surf side which is yeah. a shame but chelsea did buy the resort mug which came with the unlimited refills and that one actually says dockside on mm -hmm. so that was really cool yeah we got we ended up having as you can probably tell we bought so much stuff we had to buy an extra suitcase um so we bought this little luggage tag for that suitcase um this is just from galaxy's egg which i just got to say we bought a huge duffel bag from walmart for 20 dollars and it did yeah. so much we stuff were in. expecting to have to pay like at least 60 dollars to get a suitcase and when we went to walmart we found this duffel bag that came really compact and it just opened out it and it wouldn't was stop huge. opening yeah it was it 20 dollars so that was 
Um, a wicked deal. And yes, yeah, so we just got a luggage tag for that one. That was a Black Spire outpost. That was actually brought in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Um, I also got, you can't really see it, but I've got a bath bomb here. I won't open it because I have a feeling it's cracked a little bit and there's some loose bits, but it's an Olaf bath bomb. Uh, this is actually from the Basin store. Um, they have one in Disney Springs and the Grand Floridian. Um, and they have loads of Disney bath bombs, soaps and stuff like that. Um, I've also got some soap that I got from there as well. I can't remember. No. Uh, we'll probably find we'll it. We'll find it and then we'll share it. Um, yeah. Um, I brought some patches from the outlet in Vineland, so I got a Jawa one which just says scavenge, sell and refurbish, um, which is really cool. The cool thing about the patches from Disney World is you don't have to sew them on, they are stickers and you can just stick them onto a backpack, a hat, clothes, anything and they are really strong. I also just brought a Batu patch as well, so that was really cool. Um, I got this little Buzz Lightyear toy, it's not for myself. It's for um, me. It's not <laughs> me. Um, yeah, it's just a little Buzz Lightyear toy, and I'm pretty sure if you throw it, the um, parachute. parachute sort of opens up in the air. So that's really cute. Um, I also brought a couple more things from the outlets. They have loads of uh, food and wine merch. So I got the food and wine tea towel. So there's just this one, the white with the apples on. It's the Mickey Mini Apple Orchard. And then on the other tea towel, it has got Mickey Mini on it with the apples. And to go with that, I also did pick up the apron that says awesome to the core um, with just Mickey on, which is really cool. Um, this was actually, I think, my first purchase of the trip. Uh, Disney Parks Uno. Um, we absolutely love Uno. Yes. Our families love Uno. We love playing it at Christmas and like family occasions. So Disney Parks Uno, why not? <laughs> um, and to go with that, I also got some Walt Disney World and playing cards so we can just play some card games and they've got the park icons on. So I've got a couple of key rings here, um, again one for myself and a couple of gifts but um, this one is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, um, it does actually spin as well, um, that was probably like my favourite attraction Amazing. of the whole trip, it was so great so I had to get the key ring. Um, this is just an Avengers one. Uh, and I also got this Loki one. This is actually from Box Lunch. The other two are from Walt Disney World. This is from Box Lunch. Um, and this is a really cool Loki in his crocodile form. Yeah. It's like crocodile well, Loki. Later. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. So I picked that up. Um, a magnet, again, Festival of the Arts themed. Be dazzled. I'm just trying to see where we Special can go next. Special of the Arts 2022. So cute little magnet. Um, we bought a couple of little trinket dishes in the outlets. These are gifts for people, so they are our initials. But this is the ABC collection. So we just got M, A and K, um, which is pretty cute, pretty really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I got this glass. This is from the Norway Pavilion. Uh, as you can see, it says Norway and it just has a big Mickey head with lots of other little icons relating to Norway. Um, I also got this Coke glass. Again, this is from the large Coke store in Disney Springs. Really cool shape. Um, I got this Mickey's Really Swell Coffee Mug. Um, I also did get some coffee to go with that as well, and this is just their signature blend. Um, so I loved how the mug matched the coffee packet and that was really the amazing find that purchase. Um, Oscar also got a couple of other mugs, so we'll just help him hold them up here. Um, he got the sort of traditional Walt Disney World mug. This was available throughout most of the stores, to be honest. Um, he also got this Robin Hood mug. This was from Box Lunch. Yeah. Um, and it's got Robin on the front. Robin Hood's my favourite Disney film, so I saw this mug. Miguel on the back. <laughs> Um, right, I did buy a couple of Starbucks mugs as well. We'll just hold them all up. Um, so the this first one... This is the Life Day mug. Yep, yeah, which is a Wookiee Christmas basically. So that was released in November, but they've only just got it in Walt Disney World. Uh, the next one we got was the You Were You Are Here Been There series. Sorry, the Been There series. This is the Universal Orlando Resorts, which is quite nice that they had one mug for all three parks. And I love the colours on it. Yeah, that's cool. And then this one literally came back in stock on our last, last day. day. Can you believe it? 16th of February, we're filming this on the 17th, so we literally got it yesterday. 
um, Emporium, if you're looking for this, head to Emporium. It's they actually have a Starbucks yeah, section. They're probably already sold out again by now, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, it's the 50th anniversary Magic Kingdom Starbucks. I can't lie, I was gunning for the Hollywood Studios one, but I'm just so stoked to be yeah. getting one. All of the Starbucks parks mugs for Disney World are gone at the moment. So the fact that this came back yeah. was just pure fate. But they <laughs> did have the, tum the, the ceramic tumblers for pretty much every yeah. park except Magic Kingdom. So... Uh, that's nice. Right. I think that is nearly it to be honest, other than pins. We have a bit of a large pin haul on yeah, the way. Um, okay, Oscar seems to have a few more things <laughs> if he wants to um, start showing them. I'll show you the souvenir cups we got. So this is the Typhoon Lagoon Blizzard Beach. This was $12 and you got unlimited refill all day. So it's for both parks. So that's what Chelsea brought. Um, we also got some cocktails at Volcano Bay and they both came in the same signature souvenir glass which just has Volcano Bay on it. Um, I also got these air fresheners. Um, again, these were from Box Lunch, I believe, or Hot Topic, one of the two. Oh, I think it was Box Lunch. Um, one's an Avengers and one is Ron's Gone Wrong. Um, and also from Box Lunch, I got this really cool, going back to Cobra Kai here, um, Cobra Kai and Miyagi Do little sign um, saying Enter Dojo, which is just so cool. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. But Probably I'm on the dog's, it the dog's cage. <laughs> um, Chels brought the souvenir popcorn bucket with some popcorn. We fill out with the maple popcorn from Epcot and the Canada Community because it is the best popcorn in Disney World. Um, and I bought the mug, even though we didn't stay in the Disney Hotel, we got it just because it matched and it was really cute, the designs matched, so they just go hand in hand together. Um, we managed to get some Gideon's cookies whilst we were there as well in Disney Springs and I got a really cute little sticker from Gideon's as well, um, as well as a pin, but that will come in a short while. Um, Chelsea bought the Orange Bird Sipper. This was released for Flower and Garden Festival back in 2020 before Covid hit and apparently it like went out like no tomorrow and now they're in um adventureland in magic kingdom we've got loads of them so that's really cute we love um, i'm not sure if oscar already showed these but i thought i'd just show them just in case we've got loads of the coasters from ogre's cantina um again they usually just give you like two that your drinks come with um but oscar literally just asked the cast member if we could have extras and he just threw loads at us yeah. on the table like three full sets um, were. yeah so we have loads of those which is really great um i got a ses this is a present it's a sesame street 50 years um what are these what are these called just Whoa. a thermal bottle um <laughs> it's a water bottle but it's a sesame street one which is uh quite cool so the person i'm buying that for in the present will really appreciate that um and I'm going to run through my Galaxy's Edge stuff quickly because I'm a yeah. huge Star Wars fan. So we went to Ogres, like Chelsea was just saying, and I got the Yub Nub, which comes with the souvenir Endor glass, um, which they say is carved by Wookiees, which is lovely. So there's that one. Um, I also brought, if you want to get those out, I did buy the Jedi Holocron. They actually had no Sith Holocrons at all in stock when we were there, but I am... A follower of the Jedi Order, so I wanted the Jedi Holocron anyway. Um, so this is cool. You put the Kyber crystals in it, and it passes on knowledge and advice through the Jedi. Um, so these are some of the Kyber crystals. You've got one of each color. So you've got red, purple, green, and then the Kyber crystals. Um, and then you've got like a little white. Um, but yeah, so the Kyber, the Holocron comes in a faux leather case with a charger cable included, which is really cool. You also get a pin, so depending on which lightsaber you build, you get the pin that is associated with that lightsaber. I suppose that gives it away that I built a lightsaber. Oh yeah. Um, so I did the Peace and Justice, um, which again is the Jedi, um, the Jedi build. So I did, I used these parts and I did go for a blue kyber crystal because that is my favourite colour, like my boy Obi-Wan Kenobi. But because he has all the other ones, he can switch it out whenever he likes. Yes. So. And now Sorry. here's for the, the bougie part of the, the trip. I did go full on Jedi and I brought the belt, the tunic and the robe. Um, as you can see, I've not opened these yet. I did try the sample ones on in the Jedi Outfitters in uh, Batu, but I'm really excited to wear my full Jedi Outfit and annoy you chasing me around with my lightsaber. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited about that. 
Um, right, I really think that might be it. I still can't see those soaps, but we definitely have them out. Oh. These ones? Yeah. Those are soaps right. that I mentioned earlier that are from Basin. They're really, really cute. These, you can buy them in full blocks or you can get these little sort of gift packs. Um, as you can see, the sort of different Disney pattern soaps in them. So yeah, they're really cute. Um, again, Basin in Disney Springs or the Grand Floridian. Two more things from Galaxy's Edge. I've got some chance cubes, which uh, Kwai Von Jin uses in The Phantom Menace when he tries to bet Anakin's freedom on the pod race. So they are just blue and red sliders, um, but they come in a pack of four and they're only $10. And I also bought the Spork from Docking Bay 7, which you can just buy now for $10 on the way of our order, which I'm gonna use all the time. Um, I've got a couple of badges here. So these aren't pins, these are just badges. Um, I bought this set of two. These are actually in the outlets. Um, and then we got the Happily Ever After badge in the parks. I also got a first visit badge, I just don't have it here to hand. And we also got this Disney Conservation Fund badge as well because we donated to the charity. My last outlet purchase was this Mickey Mummy popcorn bucket. Typically they had hundreds of the things. Um, oh yeah, and I brought the croc, croc gibbets. Um, so I'm going to sit this on my Crocs and I cannot wait to wear them with my Mickey popcorn bucket around Halloween. <laughs> um, right, okay, we are on to pins. If you're not interested in pins, please exit now. Um, <laughs> if you love pins like we do, we love, love, love pin trading. Hello again. Um, we actually just got cut off a minute ago, so hopefully we're going to be able to edit this in. This will be seamless. You can't tell that we just changed yeah, camera. hopefully. Um, so we're going to run through our pin purchases from our trip. Um, let me just grab them, two seconds. Cool, right, so I'll start going through some of the ones that we purchased. So one of the first ones we got was this Festival of the Arts Figment pin. This is limited edition and Figment does swing around and it does say Festival of the Arts 2020. Now we also brought the other figment one of that, which is just this one, which is him in like a spaceship earth and the frame. There was a pass holder one, which we couldn't see in stock. And there was also a Mickey and Minnie one, which was sold out as well. But we wanted the figment ones anyway. So very happy with those two. Um, we've got this transformation pin, which again is another uh, limited edition. And I believe this was released just now in February whilst we were there. Mm -hmm. um, we also got the Magical Comics Stitch limited edition pin. Um, another limited edition was the Make My Music pin. We've got that. And another one from that set as well. They were actually both in the outlets, FYI. Yeah. Uh, we got these two. Uh, we got a Pascal and a Marie. These are just open edition pins, but we thought they were really cool. Mm -hmm. um, another limited edition, which is the Mickey Mardi Gras pin. This literally just came out about On two Tuesday. days ago. Yeah, so that's brand new out in the park if you want it. Um, Chels brought the Riviera limited release. Again, we aren't DVC members and we haven't stayed at the Riviera, but we love the art style of the Riviera. So we had to pick that pin up. It's lovely. And another limited release is this Raya and the Last Dragon pin, which we also got. Um, I'm gonna scoop a load up. <laughs> um, a Phineas and Ferb open edition pin. A Chewbacca open edition. Um, I got this, um, I think it's Mama Imelda, is that right, from Coco? Yeah. Um, this is actually a lounge fly pin. This is from Box Lunch, but I thought it would be a good trader. Um, we got the Typhoon Lagoon Stitch Surfboard pin. We got this Live in the Island Life pin. Uh, this is the Gideon's Cookie pin we were on about, which is just their G logo uh, with a pair of back wings. Um, the Skyliner Open Edition pin. We love the Skyliner. Well, I loved it. Charles was terrified of it, but in a loving way. Um, I wasn't terrified. <laughs> I just didn't like it when it stopped when you're in midair. And it stops a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I brought this world greatest dad pin for my dad. So if you're watching this, hi dad. This pin's for you. Uh, we got this limited release uh, 2020 food and wine pin. That was in the outlets. Oh, I didn't yeah. realise it was 2020, but hey ho. Um, yeah, and it's limited release, so why not? 
I brought this world's best mum pin. This one's for my mum. So mum, if you're watching this, <laughs> hi, this pin's for you. Um, I collect Zootopia, so I got this Flash Chill Dude pin, which is just open edition. I bought this Harmonious Open Edition pin. We watched Harmonious and I fell in love with it, so I had to get this just to commemorate my love with it. Um, Jungle Cruise was also one of my favourite attractions and I got a Jungle Cruise pin to commemorate that. Another Disney Riviera pin, this is the Open Edition, but again, Mickey and Minnie and it's this wicked art style, so can't complain about that. Um, another limited release, which is Tiana. Tiana and her dad for the yeah, Father's Day, yeah. Father's Day, going to release. Um, the only pin I brought from Universal is a Quickie Mart pin with my name on. Um, <laughs> which, I don't know, I just saw it. <laughs> I thought it was amazing, so yeah, that's cool. Um, I also got this Coke pin. Um, this was from the store in Disney Springs, although it's not an official Disney pin. Um, although it does have Mickey Mouse on, it's just an official trading pin. So you probably can't trade this in the park. Um, other pins, Oscar's just walking over. I just something remembered something else. <laughs> yeah, um, I also got a My First Visit pin because this was my first visit to Walt Disney World. Um, we got a Black Spire pin, which is obviously a Galaxy's Edge. Um, we got this TIE Fighter pin, yeah. which is just an open edition, again from Galaxy's Edge. Um, I got Stitch with underwear on his head because I do collect Stitch and I don't have this one yet even though I've seen it so many times. Uh, we also collect attractions, so we got Big Thunder Mountain because it is our favourite attraction in Disneyland Paris but not in more not Disney in World. Not in more Disney World. No. They need to kick up their game because Disneyland Paris' mm. Big Thunder Mountain is wicked. Yeah. Um, Chelsea's got this Space Mountain Stitch pin. Again, she collects Stitch and attractions even though yeah. Space Mountain pretty much broke both our necks. That was wicked. <laughs> Um, also loved Kilimanjaro Safari, so got the attraction pin for that. Um, also got a Mickey and Minnie 50th anniversary pin. Um, I got another one of those, um, but I don't know what it is. Well, I'll show you the next there it other is. it is then. Yeah, there. this is the other one. So there's two different styles of Mickey and Minnie for 50th anniversary. Uh, I brought an Oscar the Grouch pin. Um, this pin's for my mum, so mum, if you're watching this, this pin's also for you. <laughs> I think that might be it. Oh no, gosh, no. there's a load here that um, don't have backers. Um, oh, yeah. We did a few little Ooh. mystery packs whilst we were there. We don't usually dive into mystery packs, um, but we did and we were disappointed because I was buying these umbrella ones because <laughs> I wanted the Lilo one because I collect Lilo and Stitch. Um, and we got two figments and two Maleficent. Yeah, so there's... Two figments. Which is fine, because I wanted the figment anyway. Yeah, and two and Maleficent. there's one, two Maleficent. Yeah, so they'll be traders. Um, so I also collect Robin Hood. I brought one of the five pack mystery villains pins um, on the hopes to get it. So we got Shere Khan, Maleficent, Hook, Scar, and the very last pin that we pulled out was none other than Prince John. So yeah. that goes to my Robin Hood collection mm -hmm. straight away, as well as these two pins, which were from Box Lunch. This is Box Lunch's own, that's just Robin Hood and Maid Marian. And this next one is a lounge fly, and it's the book from the opening scene of Robin Hood. And if you open it up, it does actually have the opening blurb from the film which is really cool. Um, we also, well, I also uh, wasted money on the 50th anniversary mystery boxes, which were just released and it's of the little gold pins. Um, I bought two boxes. In my first box, I got Orange Bird, Cheshire Cat, and Abu. That's and in my second box, I got Orange, Orange Bird, Bird, Cheshire Cat, and Abu. Wow. So I'm really disappointed that I bought two boxes and had the exact same three pins in. in I'm guessing they'd probably come in like batches of three and that it's not completely mixed up, if that yeah. makes sense. Um, so yeah, I was really disappointed about that. But maybe I'll keep three and trade three. And the absolute last pin, I brought this Donald and Goofy taking a picture in front of the park, the statue. Um, I did have a backing card for it, but we went on Splash Mountain and it got wet and fell apart, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's that pin? But that's cool, it's pin on pin on pin. So, really cool. Yeah. And 
the final thing of this whole video was a very kind gift that Oscar bought me whilst we were in Walt Disney World. Um, and it is this Nikki and Minnie's Runaway Railway lounge fly bag. Um, I do love a lounge fly bag. I only have three of them. I say only. I have three lounge fly bags. Um, but it was our favourite attraction. Yeah. I love the colours. I love that it's like the pastel blue And we've got a really cool placement on it as well. Yeah. I'll just do a little close up. So some really good pictures there of Nikki and Minnie right on the front. And But yeah, yeah. what a cool bag. Really what a cool trip, that. what an amazing place Disney World is. Yeah. Um, so hopefully our next haul videos when we go back will be a little more controlled because we've done the bulk of everything we wanted mm -hmm. to get. And like I said, in no way do we want to come across like we're bragging. I know that it seems like we've got a ridiculously large amount of stuff, but we've literally been saving the years for this trip. Like we never thought we were going to get there. Um, so yeah. the fact that we finally got there, it was kind of like a now or never situation because you never know what's going to happen in the future. And because stock was so dodgy, we just brought what we saw when we saw it because yeah. that's what the cast members told us to do. There was actually a couple of things that we missed out on because we saw it, didn't buy it, and then it sold out. The 50th photo album. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, after um, that, we just had to buy it when we saw it. I but yeah, that's it. Like I said, uh, I know we've said prices for a few things. If you have any questions, anything at all, stock levels, what were the, where we got certain things, what prices were, mm -hmm. um, then please just drop us a comment, drop us a message, uh, and we'll get back to you and let you know. Yeah. But we hope you've enjoyed this and gave you some ideas on what you can expect um, to bring back if you are traveling from the UK or if you're traveling from America. Yeah, or anywhere, or, worldwide. Any, yeah, or anywhere worldwide. Anywhere <laughs> worldwide. Literally, but um, yeah, if you're having a trip to Walt Disney World soon, I hope you have an amazing time and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.